Jake Heaps turned a struggling freshman season into a springboard for what he hopes will be an outstanding career at BYU. The MVP of the New Mexico Bowl is getting ready to become a sophomore and the first Cougar quarterback in history to travel the road to independence. Jake tells True Blue's Michael Bodmer he is ready to lead. Spring practice kicked off for the football team last week and with a whirlwind of questions surrounding the Cougars, one thing is for sure, second year quarterback Jake Heaps is ready. Last year, I mean, there's really no comparison to what last year was like and this year. I mean, uh, you know, going through a quarterback battle and, and now, you know, being the outright starter, I mean, it's a totally different um, vibe and, and going through a full season and, and uh, you know, being the leader and the commander of the offense. He's just a more mature person. Uh, you know, he knows the offense inside and out, which at, you know, the beginning of fall camp and the beginning of the season last year, he was still iffy on some of his reads and he wasn't making the right reads. Now, I mean, he's in there, he's looking smooth. He's confident in what he's doing, and uh, he looks great. He's got more wisdom. He's got more experience, and, and certainly knows how to, you know, handle being a BYU quarterback at a higher level. The biggest improvement in Heaps' game may not be his mechanics or even knowledge of the playbook, but rather his mental toughness and understanding the value of leadership. You, you got to put in the work. You got to give everything that you got to your teammates and, and off the field, and um, you know, and they're going to respect you. Um, they're going to cl grow closer to you, and and uh, you know. If you lead by example, then people are going to listen to you as well. The team brings in a new offensive coordinator in Brandon Doman, and with the new coach comes a new playbook, something that they say they're excited about. We've added a few new plays that we, that we like. Uh, hopefully the variation will be better. We'll probably uh, change you know, in some of those formational changes. We'd like to have a lot more variety out of those formations and hopefully less, less predictable. Um, and then get real good at the execution of that stuff. There's some things that have stayed the same, but you know, there's there's also a lot that has changed as well. So the terminology is a little different, and uh, you know, we're we're a lot more pro style, which means we're a lot more under center. We have a lot more. Um, the tight end is attached to the line of scrimmage a lot more. With the year under his belt, Jake says one aspect that will help this team improve from their seven and six mark from last year is the enhanced chemistry among him and his receivers and backs. I mean, that's, that's a great opportunity to have great receivers and, and then not only are they talented but they work their tails off and that's the best part you know it's a quarterback stream is you know when you call them you want to throw um, you know half the time they're calling me so it's it's a lot of fun um, having them with their passion and desire to get better and, and we're just continuing to grow our chemistry and keep working at it and um, you know I can't wait to what what we're going to be like at the beginning of the season I have all the confidence in the world I mean he's a he's a great athlete um, he's a great QB he knows how to throw the ball, and uh, he knows where to throw the ball. The vibe at spring practice is unquestionably more positive and energetic than it was last year. Jake is embracing the high expectations and is expecting not only a lot out of himself, but also the team as a whole. I'm really excited for, with our new expectations, the way this team is, it'll be more independent, um, and uh, our goal is to win a national championship. That's that's the only thing that we're playing for is a national championship, and you know, it's it's exciting to play on ESPN almost every game, and, and to play in front of a national audience, and, and uh, you know, uh, have an opportunity to represent BYU and what we what we stand for on a national level, and that's, and that's an exciting thing. Michael Bodner, True Blue.